So like the song goes, I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere. And this player was everywhere, not because he was a bad player. It's because he was a very consistent uh, skater and uh, uh, person to, to put the puck in the net and uh, eventually became a uh, longtime stalwart of the Springfield Indians program, which led him to be one of the top point getters in AHL history. Well, today we're going to be talking about the very talented and in a lot of ways, the, the very unheralded should have been a longtime NHL player, but wasn't Jim Anderson. Now, Jim Anderson, a left winger, uh, born in Pembroke, Ontario, uh, 5'10 uh, left winger. Uh, first came to Major Province of all places uh, as a young player in the IHL with the Detroit Hetchy, where he had 32 points in 31 games. Now, he also had uh, minor... Uh, Senior pro experience, he played with the Glace Bay Miners of the MMHL. Uh, he put up 84 points in 88 games in 52 with 51 goals. Became a hometown hero many times over. 53 split time with Shawinigan Cataracts of the QSHL and the Edmonton Flyers of the WHL. 18 goals in 66 games. Back with the Flyers in 50, uh, 54 with 23 goals in 63 games but then found his home with the Springfield Indians for the majority of the campaign for the next uh, 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 f uh, 15 uh, years. Now, the 16-year minor league career, again, was mostly with Springfield, and he remains the all-time leader in games played there, goals and points for the franchise. His first season with Springfield, he had 39 goals, and was awarded the Dudley Red Garrett Memorial Award as AHL Rookie of the Year, which is kind of a misnomer because he was a he wasn't a rookie really. He played IHL and uh, you know the Quebec League in '55. In the early 1960s, he scored 35 goals or more for Springfield for five straight campaigns, helping lead the team to three consecutive Calder Cup championships and to this day the only franchise to win three straight. In 61, Anderson was named AHL second All-Star team with 81 points, which was the most of his career, with a league-leading 43 goals. Now, the 40 goals he scored in 64 earned him the Willie Marshall Award as the AHL's leading goal scorer. It also led again to him being named a second-team All-Star. Now, in the 68 season, the NHL expanded to 12 teams, and a new LA Kings took over the Springfield franchise as their top minor league affiliate. Now, he rebranded them as Springfield Kings, and that season, Anderson finally made his first NHL appearance with the parent Kings, playing in seven games and getting one goal and two assists. Now, Anderson's uh, NHL career concluded with 426 goals and 821 points in 943 games, at the time in the top five all-time in each category in NHL history. Now, as of the 2015 season, he remains 11 all-time in games played, 15 goals scored, and 19 points uh, accumulated. Now, Anderson became a coach upon retirement, and he was Troy Springfield head coach in 1970 and 76, and was also the first head coach of the history uh, in the history of the NHL's Washington Capitals, which was a rough campaign for sure. Now, after being replaced mid-season by George Sullivan, Anderson became a professional scout for the LA Kings for 19 years. Now, in November 2008, uh, Anderson's career was recognized with induction into the four class of the AHL's Hall of Fame. He continued to make his off-season home in the Springfield area, and after retirement, was actually a local skating instructor. Uh, well, uh, for a number of years, unfortunately, before his passing, at the age of 83, at on March 10, 2013. Now, just to recap, with the, the Capitals, 54 games that year. 4th, 45, and 5, uh, which uh, obviously led to his dismission. But I think with that team, winning four games, ladies and gentlemen, was an overachievement because they didn't have much to uh, much to deal with. And, then, you know, a lot of people can uh, say that, uh, you know, uh, he, he, he got a person that knew how to win uh, behind the bench, but the players didn't know how to win. You can only hope that you do your best. So that's the uh, legend of Jim Anderson. If you like what we're doing here, give us a like, comment, or subscribe. All requests are taken and appreciated. And keep your stick in the ice. Bye.